Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to use frames in Miro. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Miro, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just to follow the on screen instructions, and you're good to go. Using frames in Miro is essential for organizing content creating presentations, and structuring your board because frames act as a containers that group related content together and help you navigate through your board more efficiently. So here's how you can use the frames. All, all I'm going to do is, for now, I'm going to delete everything uh, inside the board here to make it um, to start from scratch. Now hover to the left side panel of your dashboard and you would see the editing tools. Just click on the frames. There you go. Essentially, you can view the templates for uh, the frames. You have the custom, the A4 letter, 16 by 9, 4 by 3, 1 is to 1, to, uh, for mobile devices like phone, tablet, and browser. But if you're interested, just click on the view templates right here. You can simply use these frames that you wanted, presentations, and of course, you can choose these slides as well. All right. But for now, we're going back here on the uh, maybe I'm going to use for the phone. All right. Now on the phone, this is going to be frame one. All right. You can rename the frame one as maybe a Andy. All right. Now on the frame, you have the option to change of the color of the background. Maybe I'm choosing a uh, red for now. Okay. You can drag a uh, re resize. You have an options here at the bottom wherein you can, um, we'll deal with that later. But I'm going to put another element inside this frame to make it more interactive by clicking the upload button and click on, on my device. Once it's uploaded, I mean, I'm going to drop this element inside the frame. That one. Okay. And of course, I can copy multiple iterates, iterations of the same elements here inside the frame. That's frame one, all right? Now, you see, if you click again on the frame here, for example, it's going to be for a browser. It's a different thing, right? Again, you can choose to have a different color. Now, at this time, I'm going to be choosing yellow. And of course, I'm going to upload another file in my device. Once it's uploaded, I'm going to resize that into here. Right? Cool, isn't it? Now, the idea is the frames act as like a, like a subboard, if you can call it. All right? And of course, you can use frames consistently across your board to maintain a clean and organized layout. And you are not limited by different sizes. Because on the frames, you can go to the view templates like why we did earlier. But for now, I'm choosing the tablet. On the tablet, however, I'm going to drag this and choose a different color. This time, I'm going to be choosing green. Right? I'm going to the same uh, thing. I'm going to upload a, a, a file from my device. I'm going to drag it here. I'm going to make a multiple copies of the same file. is basically how you use your frames all right so once it's loaded after you can um zoom out and zoom in and create as many frames as you want all right you are not bound by a one two or three uh, different kind of um, frames all right i'm gonna rename this one I name this one Okay, so once you have I rename all of it, you see, I'm going to zoom in again. All right. Now here, when you click again on the elements inside the frame, you have like uh, an option for the border style, opacity, and color. All right. So you can choose a lot of, of options here, especially when you click on the exact frame. Now, you see this one, the styles, you can choose a different, a different style here whichever you wanted all right you can apply all of them at once depending on your um, preferences and 
we have a separate video on how to hide and unhide frame and that's i'm not gonna uh show it here but you see there's an option that says device skin when you click that you see it's very interactive like it's, it's like a preview on what's going to be showing on the uh frames when you click it click on the frames and show the uh device right it's interactive now once you're done with that there's gonna be a uh, three buttons here that says more i want you to explore here where you can click on the rename like what we did earlier and you have multiple options to export as pdf export as image all right copy style if you wanted for example this one and paste it here all right now after that you also have an option to send it to backward for example this one this exact frame you have it here and you wanted to put it at the, at the back you have that option you see that Now after that, you see there's a lot that you can do. You can delete, you can save as template if you wanted. But to do that, you need to upgrade to your uh, subscription. If you're using the free plan, you're limited with the access to tools. And again, if you wanted to get more on how to use frames and unlock all limits and features and tools, you might want to go for the starter. All right, it's $8 per month. But the thing is, you can unlock a limited and private boards with essential features such as you know saving it as a template of yours all right now the thing is using frames in mirror provides structure clarity and flexibility making it easier to manage content collaborate with others and create a professional presentations if you hover here again on the uh, view templates for example you click on this add to more just wait for it to load now frames use can you be used to create step-by-step -step guides or tutorials like what we do making them ideal for training sessions or educational content and again by organizing content into frames you can create interactive learning experiences wherein you can simply represent a different concept or module here on your miro board all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we appreciate for you turning in to end these guides if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated with all the latest content. Alright, see you in the next guide.